Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Abigail Rudner, and I'm here for Noble Desktop, where I am a content creator focusing on design-related topics. My background is in visual design and in education, and I thrive on sharing information in and around the design space with people like you. Since so many folks are jumping into the design world, into working in design-related fields with little or no background, we thought it would be a good idea to offer a collection of tutorials in and around the visual design principles space. So this first set of videos I'll be sharing with you is the principles of typography. Let's begin. The term typography not only refers to the style and appearance of text, but is also the art and practice of designing with type. Since this can be a very large topic, we'll break it down into several short segments. In this series, we're going to be talking about the topic known as classifications of typography, or type categories. When you stop and think about it, type and type design is everywhere. You can see it in apps, on the web, on TV and in films, packages, signage, and much more. So no matter what you are designing, typography is an essential element that can really make or break your design work. As such, it stands to reason that a strong understanding of the different personalities of typefaces is key to being able to think about, design, and work well with typography. Becoming familiar with the classifications of type will help you to know what typefaces to use where, and this will make you a much better designer. In this introduction, and in the upcoming tutorials, we'll be looking at a variety of different typeface examples and getting to know their particular aspects and characteristics. So let's jump in here. It used to be said that there were two main categories of typefaces these being serif and sans serif. However, these days we consider that there are actually eight different categories. These being black letter, serif, slab serif, sans serif, script, monospace, handwritten, and decorative. With this in mind, we'll start our exploration with a bit of background information. Just to note, however, while this talk does not center around the history of typography, there is a great deal of history behind typeface design, starting around the 1450s. So now that we've completed our quick introduction to the classifications of typography, I invite you to join me in the next video. We'll now go further into our first type category of black letter.